a shame. But I applaud you, Megatron. You certainly made a grand exit. Ah, Soundwave. Cue the audiovisual. I wish to address the troops. The loss of Megatron, leader of the great Decepticon uprising, is certainly a blow to our cause. Yet, we mustn't despair over his tragic demise. But instead, embrace his ultimate sacrifice and build upon the foundation he laid with an even mightier hand. With all due respect, Commander Star... Uh, Lord Starscream. Yes, yes. What is it? If we fail to conquer Earth under Lord Megatron's command, what hope do we have now while the Autobots still defend it? <sighs> Allow me to be crystal clear. I studied for millennia under our former master. Thus I am equipped to lead you. I, Megatron's true heir, Lord Starscream, Emperor of Destruction! <laughs> What use are troops who can't rise to the task of inflicting unspeakable destruction in my name? But wait. Legend tells of one capable warrior. One who exists here, upon this very planet. One who can be student to my master. Optimus, why so glum? This planet, all planets, are finally free from Megatron's tyranny. I do not disagree, Ratchet. It's just a small part of me hope to change Megatron's mind, not extinguish his spark. Optimus, his vileness was not slain by your hand, but by his own twisted arrogance. Hmm. I'm sorry. I know the two of you had quite a history. But the Megatron whom I once fought beside perished eons ago. The day he chose to become a Decepticon. The Decepticons may be in disarray, but they aren't without leadership. And while Starscream is no Megatron, he is far from predictable. Decepticons! We're under attack! It's no attack, Ratchet. <coughs> It's my volcano. <coughs> Was. Hold still, bulkhead. Jupiter needs its red spot. Whoopsie. What in the all spark is going on in here? Our projects are due tomorrow. Maybe it needs one of these doohickeys. You're a motorcycle, RC. Shouldn't you know how to build a motorcycle engine? You're a human, Jack. Can you build me a small intestine? Whoa. You can't work on these projects in here. You're making a mess. But the science fair is a big part of our grade. Yeah, if Bulkhead doesn't help me finish this model of our solar system. Oh? And what does Bulkhead know of your solar system? Or Bumblebee of your volcanoes? Or... RC of our motorcycles? Precisely. We're not Earthlings. And they're not scientists. But the Autobots are their guardians, Ratchet. Would it hurt to learn more of Earth by helping our young friends with their schoolwork? Well, maybe our young friends should try learning more of Cybertron. During the Great War, so much energon was hidden on this forsaken rock. 
that our departed master sent some of Cybertron's greatest to guard it. True warriors, now lying in stasis, waiting to be reawakened. <sighs> Such folly that, late in life, Megatron searched distant space for warriors, rather than here beneath his feet. What do you mean you can't pinpoint his signal? I know we are close. Boost the power to your sensors. make warrior class but I've seen you in action you're awesome I second your opinion Raph but Autobot life cycles are much longer than those of humans and though it may be hard to believe our young scout still has much to experience exposed energon and it's on the move and since we ain't moving it guess who must be Decepticons Without Megatron? Unfortunately, Megatron's legacy will live on, as others rise to take his place. Autobots, you have projects to complete. Ratchet, I may require aid. Science fair is a big part of their grade. Perhaps I'm better suited to remain behind and advise. Very well. Bumblebee, let us see about this Energon in transit. Excellent sound wave. The cube. The energon infusion. It's working. Bumblebee, it does not. Hold your position and await my command. Awaken, warrior. Rise and serve your new master! Skyquake serves only one master. Excellent. Your loyalty and devotion will set a fine example for the troops. No need to be timid, Skyquake. You may bow. You fail to grasp my meaning. I am here on a mission assigned to me by my one master, Megatron. Yes, him. Sadly, Megatron is no longer with us. Impossible. Why is this so difficult for everyone to accept? Skyquake, I located you. I awakened you. Thus, I, Lord Starscream, am now your master. It has been a while, Skyquake. Optimus Prime, I haven't seen you since the Battle of Technar. Megatron ordered me to annihilate you. That was a long time ago. That may be, Prime, but my orders still stand. Is this ancient war still worth fighting? When so many comrades have been lost, and worlds destroyed? If you want to be a true leader, Starscream, then stray from Megatron's path and lead the Decepticons toward peace. I would be willing to consider a truce. If you would be willing to bow before me, Optimus Prime. Again? Bow to this! <gasps> oh. Skyquake, this is a new era. On another world. Side with the Autobots and help me end this conflict forever. I will never side with the Prime! <laughs> What 
need have I for peace when I have Skyquake? With some discipline, he will learn to respect his new master. And once it becomes known that Skyquake destroyed Optimus Prime under my command, all Decepticons will gratefully bow to me. Moment, Soundwave. We shall need visual documentation of Optimus Prime's demise for the historical record. Skyquake has not yet acquired a vehicle mode. Where is it? Um, what is it? You'll find out. But, Ratchet, shouldn't I be doing the work? Yep, 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 yep. Don't touch, just watch. And learn. So, we're just gonna go help Jack and Miko finish there. Without my supervision? You want them to be right, don't you? Then watch a master at work. Control Freak. We've lost sight of them! Soundwave! Why aren't you tracking them? What? What is it? A second Decepticon life signal? But Skyquake is the only sleeper buried in this area. The sight of our destroyed space bridge. You're not telling me. That life signal belongs to Megatron. But, but he was microns from the detonation point. Nothing could have survived that blast. Your sensors must be faulty. Ignore the contact. Delete the coordinates. <laughs> what am I saying? Uh, of course, this <laughs> must be investigated. If Lord Megatron is up there, I shall bring him home. Remain here and monitor the outcome. When Skyquake snuffs Prime Spark, I must bear witness. Must bear witness. Alpha to Central Command. We're picking up transmissions originating from unidentified technology, possibly hostile. We are moving to investigate. Negative, Tango 6 Alpha. This is Special Agent William Fowler intercepting. Strike your report from the record and provide origin coordinates. I'll take it from here. my duty. Excellent strategy, Bumblebee. Skyquake, stay down. Agent Fowler, fall back! Well, I'll be...
be a bald eagle. Air superiority achieved. Classified military aircraft will not be tolerated on my watch. Heat seekers. I still got it. No one could have survived this. As I suspected, faulty sensors. The last thing I need now are rumors that Megatron is still... Listening, I have found Lord Megatron, and he is unwell. We must transport him to sickbay immediately. Immediate assistance. Any time, fella. Ground floor's coming fast. Things, Khan. Had Skyquake chosen to stray from his master's path, we might not be burying him today. Bumblebee? Putting yourself at risk was perhaps not the wisest of strategies, but you performed admirably. <laughs> there you are! Well, how are my, uh, our projects received? Well... 
Ms. Nakadai, what planet would that be? Um, Cybertron? It's large, Mr. Darby, but is it operational? <laughs> I hesitate to ask, Mr. Esquivel, but, uh, is it active? Well, on our planet, you would have been awarded the highest honors. Absolutely no gratitude if I help them. Indeed, Bumblebee. Our human friends would have been wise to stray from Ratchet's path. The troops will be pleased to hear of our success in rushing Lord Megatron into stasis. Let us hope that our master pulls through. The Hub asks families, are you game? Each week, two teams take to the family game night arena and face board games that have miraculously come to life. Will it be sweet victory or bitter defeat? Find out on an all-new Family Game Night, coming up next, only on The Hub.